Hello and welcome to yet more perpetual testing. Today we descend the hallowed stairs into the Cathedral of Sheepdog. So a very, very big thank you to Sheepdog for making and recommending this map. It features laser reflection, light bridges, uses of conveyance beams, the uses of deadly lasers for deadly reasons, tubes that will give us cubes, laser reflection that gets into the receptors, the use of drowning in the deadly deadly goo for drowning in deadly deadly goo reasons, and the use of faith plates. Uh, a few things about this map before we started. Uh, that is one of them. Uh, Sheepdog has done some sort of wizardry with console commands to put our field of view up to 90. So that's why we did a slight visual pop just then. Um, hardly, hardly any different whatsoever from what I can tell. Anyway, this is the cathedral. And this was an entrance to the... Ha, I've just seen the big Emperor Zerg face up on the wall there. Cool. Uh, yeah, this was an entry by Sheepdog to the PMAM contest, which I have no idea what it stands for and didn't look up where the point of the contest was to make the map look as spooky as possible, and as the music starts to swell... Yeah, okay, I think Sheepdog's done a really good job at that. Uh, this is entirely done in B-Mod as well, apparently, so look out for B-Mod type stuff. Yeah, okay, I see why it's called Cathedral, and I see why you entered it in a spooky, spooky map contest. That hint of red everywhere is really quite subtle, but really quite spooky indeed. Uh, we've got the Deadly Deadly Insta-Kill Fancy Fizzler lasers over there. We've got a laser across the room. We've got the Unlit Eye of Sauron built into the wall there, and a light bridge. There's Fizzler that we pass through, Emperor Zerg, as he graces us with his appearance. Uh, there is a big drop down into pretty certainly Deadly Deadly Goo, although again, I'm seeing a lot more very, very cold, icy looking water lately in maps. That might just be the... I don't know, the shading and there's Emperor Zerg up there as well. What is that? Is that more Deadly Fizzlers making that effect? Because that does look really cool and, yeah, the music. This is going to be a creepy, creepy map. Um, also looks like quite a good example of B-Mod architecture. In fact, uh, let me just check this because I had to look it up. This is based visually on the Basilica de la Sagradia Familia, which is uh, Spanish for very fancy church of a very, very rich family. Yeah, and that's the inspiration for this one. In fact, if you actually look at this on the Steam Workshop, the, like, B-Mod screenshots from the Puzzle Maker, this looks like an absolutely insanely complicated build. I suppose getting all these little architectural details everywhere. And I like it. I like the look of it a lot. Uh, I'll put those pictures up on the screen if I remember to. What's that? What do you mean, Future Nerima already did it? Oh. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like, and you can see it's pretty impressive. It's proof that you don't have to throw everything B-Mod has to offer. You just, you know, need to know how to make very, very impressive architectural designs with it. So, uh, no pressure there. Let's, uh, try and do the puzzle, shall we? We've got our exit over there under Emperor Zerg. We've got... Are these things that'll turn on or are these, like, spooky highlights of red? I think those are just, like, spooky highlights of red. Yeah, just definitely Emperor Zerg. I've uh, got a bunch of panels there. Let's start trying to do the actual puzzle. I've just noticed this cube is highlighted orange, so that probably means we're going to do some cube management at some point. Oh, I should also point out that in the description, this uh, this map is rated as a 2 out of 10 difficulty. So, like, a Nerima 5 to 6, probably. Uh, what can we actually do? Well, you want a laser, which will turn off this fizzler. And I'm guessing since we've got this big drop to one step into the deadly, deadly icy water down there. Yeah, there's a nice little hint of red everywhere. We're probably going to need the light bridge to cross over that. So get the light bridge past the fizzler somehow. Um, let's start doing what we can do. You let me go up there. Yeah, there's slightly more Eye of Saw on there, but not quite on one of his angriest days. Oh, can I not go through? Oh, you can go through those. I thought those bars were meant so that you couldn't actually physically get through. Uh, Shell's diet must actually be working for once. So that lets us get up to where we can actually get to the light bridge. Can we see anything else from up here? A uh, little panel there that would suggest stand on me so you don't fall. So does the light bridge turn off somehow? There is a panel where that laser is going over there with some more... I'm guessing those are just spooky highlights of red which do look really... Really quite effective in here, and all this like, all this little architectural channeling must have taken absolutely forever to do in Puzzle Maker. What can I do from up here then? Um, let me go back down. 
Let's go back down and see what else we can get to since now we have a light bridge. If we cross back over to here... Now you drop the cube in there, specifically going under the height of the light bridge. That might be quite relevant and we need to find the other cube dropper at some point too. Uh, we can go across there. If we go this way, this takes us to this little outcropping here in the middle. Ah, there's another panel in there too. Okay, so there's, there's the panels back there in this, like, alcove thing. Is there anything else back in here? No, it's very dark and not a great deal to work with by the looks of it. Let's head back out into this middle bit, cross over, because this looks like it's lined up for us to go that way. If we do the portal maneuver, that always makes my asshole clench. Yep, okay, every time I'm going to have to do that is going to be slightly uncomfortable. Uh, that lets us get behind this deadly laser fizzler field to... You've got a little outcropping here. That probably means we can use you. We can do a flesh test. Uh, flesh test is confirmed. It does not burn this time, which will save us a lot of pain, probably. Uh, what does that actually give us, then? So, I mean, you could have that. Uh, that gets the laser up here as well. And then won't that just line up with over there then if I get the right I got a feeling this light bridge is going to turn off at some point as well if we now put the is it the blue put the blue on you that lines up over there all right so we could have you and you that lets us get over to this other side of the fizzler and then we could just stick it on if I get the right portal stick it on there uh, we can come over to here there's a faith plate and I've just realized that's no use is it because there's no way to get that anywhere near higher. Yeah, okay, so we also need the cube over here. Which straight away complicates matters quite a bit more already. Um, I mean, it would make sense. I haven't actually even touched that cube yet. So uh, there's probably quite a bit to be done with it yet. Let's take the faith plate back across because I'm guessing, and I did read in the description... This is to just put you back over here. Right, so maybe not quite as simple as it looks. Let's actually get the cube we've been provided and see what we can do with that. So we know that you will line up straight across there. But that is clearly not enough of the puzzle to solve the puzzle. There is this panel that we used for the light bridge there. That actually looks like it lines up quite well with you to go there. We've actually got the aiming reticle as well, which is usually needed for weird angles, but the description did specifically say no funky angles, although it didn't say funky. I, I added that because I normally do. Uh, so you would actually line up in there, right? So can we just do that again with the laser coming through instead? Then how do we get over there. Uh, we need you. No, we need you. And you. Let's go back to the asshole clenching jump position. There. Okay, so if we get the laser again now and we make the la- No, we don't. We'd have to go back up the top, wouldn't we? So we have to go into you. The fact that the laser doesn't burn would suggest you do need to be coming through here with the laser at some point. So if I'm up here again... Wait, well if you're there... The laser should just go straight through you, right? If I remember which portal it is. So that'll go straight through you. And then we could move the blue to you. And you'll stay open. But I'm trapped up here now, aren't I? Yeah, okay, we're trapped up here, so... Not quite that easy. Uh, can I undo that now without messing too much up? If we put the orange up here now, we lose that. The fizzler comes back on. Cube's probably been bumped out of position. That's still over there, and that still doesn't help with the fact that we need the cube... Yeah, we definitely need... It's definitely not just shifting that up any higher, no, because it can't go any higher. Okay, so we need the cube. We need to do the stand on the cube, stepping stool kind of thing. Because Sheepdog likes to mock the fact that I'm quite short. Clearly. Um, 
So, not that. Let's head back over to the other side. Is this a grid for a reason? It does line up with down there. And you could have there. Does that line up down there? It's just a bit off from there. It would line up over those two then, but why is this a grid other than to look kind of cool? And have these nice little lighting highlights. That is a really nice use of the fizzlers. I've never seen them used decoratively like that before. It works really, really well in this ominously scary map. So, not that. So, head back up to here. Is there any... You definitely can't see in there, can you? Now, that is a blocked angle. Uh, there's a little bit of a step down there for some reason. Do we need to do... a swapping the cube over at some point kind of thing? Can we bring the cube up here, then? If we put the blue down there... Jump down to there. Can we take the cube up to the top bit and swap it round from up there? So we don't actually technically need the cube down here. No, because we can use that panel there with the laser to do you. So can the cube just wait up the top? It did say this was a 2 out of 10. So... No. You don't let the cube through, do you? No? I would have thought Shell's immense girth was actually wider than a cube, but uh, I guess not. So no, that's that's clearly you're not allowed to do that. Um, so can it wait down there? There's like a little step area. Can we make the cube wait down here while we do that then? Can you sit there? You got a flat surface maybe for this point? And uh, can I get back up onto that now? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Have I screwed it? No, we can. We can we get back up here. Uh, right, so if the cube is made to wait there, and we go do the laser thing again, so it didn't actually need to go all the way back up, uh, let's go back over to the middle bit, go back to where we've got to jump above the goo, with remembering to place the right portal in the right place. It wouldn't be one of these if I didn't do that at least once. And at some point, I probably do actually have to fall in the goo for, you know, tradition's sake. Uh, let's stick orange, orange on you now. So I can get the laser back up there. If we do the orange on you. Yeah, the fact that the laser doesn't burn would suggest you have to be crossing through where the laser is as well. So, that lets me get back up to here. But then I can't get the cube up here. We can do... Um, I don't think it's going to turn off, but there's this little platform bit here which really makes me think at some point some combination is going to make this light bridge turn off just to drop you into the goo. Let's uh, put the blue on you then. Opens that back up. So what if we put the orange over there? Can I jump down to you here? Yeah, okay, that just about has a landing space. Can we put you through there? And can I... Oh, wait. If we're going to have to be using the cube as a step in the future, can we use the cube as a step now? If we step on you there, get through there, pull you through. That gets the cube through to this side. So we've got to get the fizzler off again to get the light bridge back out here. Which we should be able to do the way we did initially, but now there's a cube in a convenient place, right? Oh wait, how do I get back to... So we've got to get back up, right? Can you get back up from here? Yeah, because we can jump back up onto the light bridge, right? Although, put blue there. That gives everything we want the other side, but, you know, missing us, which is probably the most important part of that. So let's get back up there. Can I go through these, since we can go through the top ones? We can. I thought these were to, like, block players from getting places. Maybe it's just, you know, spooky architectural bars. Jump up onto you. Uh, then we can go back around this way again. Yeah, we should just be able to do the same thing that we did to start with, right? But now we actually have the cube somewhere useful. So swap over midair here again. 
If I can get through this without falling in the goo once, I'm going to be quite pleased with myself. Let's uh, hop and do that. Nice. Yeah, so maybe there isn't a second cube either. Oh, that's a nice detail. Just that little bit of uh, fire kind of effect up there, maybe. So, you know, what's a church without hellfire and brimstone? Let's uh, go over to this little outcropping thingy here. Let's put... Wait, what am I doing? I'm getting back up there with laser. So, you on there again. Push through here. Then, yeah, again, stand on here just in case there's a trap at some point. Uh, let's put... What am I doing? We're putting the... No, we're going to have to put the blue. There. Opens that up again. So then we could put... Well, anything, right? Uh, put the blue over there now. Fizzler comes back on, but we can go through there. That gives us the light bridge. It also gives us the cube where we wanted it. Yeah, okay. Maybe it wasn't quite as complicated as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's then put getting the portals right at this point would be very handy for not embarrassing myself. Let's put blue there. That gives us the light bridge straight across. And now we've got a cube that we can use as a stepping stool to get out of here. Stick you there. And that should be enough height to actually get up to here. Is there more? Nope, that is actually the exit. So in this very, very dark cathedral exit, that was Cathedral by Sheepdog. A very big thank you to Sheepdog for that one. Yeah, that is a good map. Really sort of shows off what you can do with B-Mod without chucking every single bit of B-Mod hardware into the map. Uh, if you'd like to recommend a map for me to play, then please recommend it via the usual means. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, thank you very much for watching. And remember, you don't actually have to tip the entire contents of B-Mod into every map. You just have to use it to make architecture that would make the corpse of Anthony Gordy green with jealousy. And, you know, not just the usual mould. He's very, very dead at this point.